Today's charity shop escapade brings us down to Albany Road in Cardiff. Ian, the master of pieces, eBay seller. I like to hit the charity shops to try and find some pieces to sell on eBay. The thing about Albany Road, it is reseller central. I wouldn't be surprised if it is picked on the hour, every hour, every day. And it's really pricey. So why am I down here? Well, they've got a CEX. And I've got a bag load of stuff to trade in. So while we're doing that, let's hit the shops. See if we actually can find some bits. Check out the games down here. Not really many reselling worthy, but I've been getting into my PSP recently. ATV Off-Road Fury. Two quid. Cheap enough just to give it a go. If the game's no good, doesn't matter, does it? Game in there, manual in there. Should we get it? Yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> Who have you found there? Disney store exclusive stamp on the back. That's Wally. Wally. Oh, he's awesome. Oh, so it's three ninety nine on there, but one ninety nine there. That is definitely meant to be three ninety nine in there. Hey, Daddy, look at his face. And you know what? Even though he's, even though it's Wally, even though it's Disney store, I don't know if there's much in that. There's not going to be much profit, is there? So, I think we've got to put him back. These are intriguing down here, there. The Lord of the Rings collector's models. You get a magazine with a box figure in there. $5.99 they were back in the day. 10 quid each. I mean, sold, if you're lucky with the right character, you might get 7 to 10. Lots of books. These are lots of loose ones without the figures in. Some binders, collector's series. What's the price of those? Seven quid. It's just not worth the faff. It's always great to see a boxed console in a Chazza. 100 quid. Box Sony PS2. Oh, no. And while we're down here, I've got a big bag load of old DVDs, a few games, a couple of Wii remotes. I'm going to trade all that bulk in to CEX. So check this for two black Wii remotes, two motion pluses and two black nunchucks. 40 and 20 trade and voucher. And then the games and the old DVDs for £15.10. Nice little return that. Look at that. Sega Master System 2. That is the last console I need to complete the collection I had whenever we were all younger. 60 quid is so tempting, particularly with that trade in value, but you always think maybe, what if you find it at a car boot sale for a 10 or 20 quid? You always think about that. Nothing. We bought absolutely nothing. Top deck of the bus though. Charity shops, waste of time. If it wasn't for going to CEX, it really would have been a waste of time. But remember last week when I met with Connor and I had two big bagfuls of stuff from him? Well, the fact I didn't get much stuff today doesn't really matter because I've got to go through all of this stuff. Popping out the top of the bag here, check this out. Super Soaker 100, Laramie from 1990. I found the Super Soaker at the boot sale last year and I've got it hanging up at the back of my garage. That screams my childhood all over. Big bold bright colors don't know if it works but it doesn't matter that's going to be hanging up in my garage i want to get a little collection of super soakers in there check this little puppy newer one from 1990 so much rattling in there but hanging up as a display piece looks like an alien gun doesn't it and we've got a third one this isn't an official super soaker this is by remco toys in 1991 pretty mean looking isn't it although it's not official super soaker definitely has the same eye appeal. Resell value on those, you can still hit the nostalgic button, certainly more popular over summertime. And actually that reminds me why me and Connor do these swaps. So firstly, I've sent off a load of cards to the Ace Gradient on his behalf. 150 bill, it's coming my way, but Connor pays me in stock. And all of this is big bulky items that he just hasn't got room to store. I'm lucky I've got the garage. I can afford for this stuff to hang around until the summer. But if you haven't got the luxury of that space, although there would be profit in this, sometimes you just haven't got the room to store it. Prime example again here. Look at this beast. This is from the film Wally. This is one of the big trash compactors. And in here, 
we've got loads of little wally figures. Now I haven't put batteries in, haven't tested it, should make some sounds. Looks like it's missing a little flap off there. So soles on these complete and working, they're really strong. Obviously the condition of this one, I'm not going to be able to charge top dollar, but still a nice item that will be going up on my store. Have a look at this, from 2010 we've got a For Real Friends dog. I find For Real Friends a really hit and miss. I sold that chimpanzee recently, that went for what, 30 quid was it? I do need to put batteries in to test it, make sure it works, but it should go pretty well. Gonzo, Disney store stamped, worth about a tenner. And some cool retro books, I just love reading these to my kids. Ninja Turtles, Fraggle Rock and a bit of Garfield in there too. There's a couple of really special items in these bags. Have a look at this. For the Game Boy Advance, we've got Pokemon, Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. Box looks really tight, but I can bring that back to life. Got the original inserts, original manual in there. That'll be going into my retro gaming collection. We then have Game Boy Advance, Zelda, the Minish Cap. Thing is, this is only box and the manual. That's all there is. There's no game. But this game boxed sells for a heck of a load of money. So actually what I could do is use that CEX voucher I got earlier, source the game, sell that as a 100% complete package. That's an idea. Now I also mentioned earlier that I've been into playing the PSP and it's because in the bags was a PSP. Thing is, it's not in the best condition at all. The battery had expanded in here, so I've had to source another one of those off of eBay. I've bought another charging cable for it. The screen is mega scratched. And it almost looks as if water's got inside. There's some big stains actually behind the screen. But managed to get it working. So that is another handheld console that is going to go into my collection. Now I've not been right to the bottom of these bags. In here, lots of Ozzins, furry Care Bears, Postman Pat, some monster trucks in here, and just loads of random little figures. Stuff like this gives me the opportunity to learn about stuff I wouldn't usually pick up. Look, there's a Sonic just kicking around in the bottom there. Remember these two dudes as well? Oh, and don't forget this bag here. I've got about 100 Hot Wheels cars in here, and if you're coming to the Reseller Summit, I will be hosting another Mopar, a reseller drag race using Hot Wheels. Of course, come along, bring your own car, but if you can't find one in time, I'll bring these and you can have one of these on the day. By the way, here's my entry. Look at that, Mopar branded. I mean, that is gonna take some beating. So Connor, thank you as always for the trade. I'm gonna really enjoy researching this, going into it all in a little bit more detail. And guys, if you're interested in seeing what cards Connor sent off to Ace Graden and the grades he gets, the cards are due back in a few weeks time. So go over, check out his videos. Let's hope he gets some tens. Just check them bags in the garage. I'll sort them out later, mission. Hey, I've just been checking some of the stats on my YouTube channel and I've realized only about half of you who are watching are subscribed. Now, if you enjoy these videos or any of my other previous videos, hit that subscribe button. It just lets me know that I'm doing the right things on the channel, bringing you the right type of content. And it does just give me that little bit of a push, particularly on days like today when I haven't found much in the charity shop, to keep going at it and keep bringing you these videos. Let me take you through some eBay souls. And the first item is an item I got off Connor ages ago on a previous swap. We've got a Joker Funko Pop out the box, obviously. That one's gone for £8.50, all in. Next up, we've got this pair of UK size 11 Nike Mercurial Luminous Yellow Astro Boots. Took an offer of these, sold them for 15 quid all in. I did have them up for 20 quid all in, but they've been hanging around for ages. I mean, the colour might have something to do with it, I don't know. Whenever you're rummaging through those toy boxes, keep an eye out for RoboDog off of Paw Patrol. This is one of the cheaper versions. He's got fixed legs, although his head does spin around, well, slightly. Still, he's gone for 10 quid all in. Monster Jam, Monster Truck. This one's called Cyclops. He's got a big eyeball on his bonnet there. Reasonable condition, a little bit of paint chipping coming around just on the corners, but that would still display pretty well up on the shelf. Gone for just over a tenner, all in. The Trackmaster of Pieces is in full flow. I've sold four Trackmaster trains today. This is the first one. This is Steven the Rocket. Quite an old fashioned train. What you find with these old Trackmaster trains is the rubber around the wheels can perish. This was in pretty decent condition. They had a bit of paint scuffing around the top there. Gone for just under 20 quid, all in that one. And then I sold these three trains to the same buyer. We've got Luke. We've then got Belle with their little water cannons there. I've also got this little wagon, which has got a ladder on the back. And then we've got Stafford with a little brake van. Those three trains and carriages have gone for just under 30 quid, all in. Let me take you through what's sold on eBay this weekend. First sale. This is an absolute banger. Brand new and sealed, that's the key, right? Sealed. 
The Complete Walk in the Dead Series 1 to 9. That has gone for just under £70 all in. 7 0, 70 quid. Now, pre owned ones go for a lot less than that. Someone has paid the premium because it is brand new and sealed. I did pay up for this in the charity shop. I paid 15 quid, something like that. And when I first read it, I thought it was The Walking Dead. But checking solds in the shop, it was worth picking up. I saw a dinky car. Now this is called the Humber Hawk. It's an old fashioned police car. It's got two little policemen in there. Key thing about this, it's got the aerial, it's got the original stickers. The paintwork is pretty shoddy. But in the right hands, that could be restored and brought back to its original glory. £18.50 plus postage. I sold a Batman mask. This is the mask from the Batman and Superman film. It's not gone for much and it's hung around for ages. It's gone for eight quid all in. Won't be picking that up again. Newt Scalamander off of Fantastic Beasts. Lego minifigure. He's got a wand and he's got a little briefcase. He's gone for five quid all in. Now this is why I'm picking up Squishmallows every time I see him. This is called Gary the Giraffe. And Gary the Giraffe has gone for 25 quid all in. It is one of the older Squishmallows 2019, but doesn't have the original tags on. Sold as pre-owned and it went for a pretty good price. Now to finish off the weekend sales, two Trackmaster sales. First up we've got Toby and I bundled in this little carriage. Toby, the old school Trackmaster style, has gone for 20 quid all in. And then I sold Peter Sam and I bundled in this red carriage as well. Peter Sam went for a little bit less than Toby, £18.50 all in. But these are just flying out. I list them and they go within a couple of weeks. I love selling Trackmaster. Just had another sale come through. I'm just packing up my orders from the weekend. This has literally just come in, so I might as well get it shipped out tomorrow with everything else. It's another sealed DVD box set. Better Call Saul, the complete series. That has gone for 45 quid all in. I tell you what, I'm just going to be looking at all sealed DVD box sets in charity shops from now on. 45 quid. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, shout out Nath T. First comment in the last video. I'm actually out charity shopping tomorrow, Thursday, because the schools are on strike and I'm off looking after the kids. Hopefully we have a bit more luck than today. I'll do a video on it. Catch you then.